everybody, today we're going to be doing the 500 sub special. Now, I know it's a bit early, but yeah, 500 subs. I know it's a bit early. We only have 590. Last time I checked, we were at 592. Let me pull it back up. Hold up. We could already be at 100. Nope. 493. All right. Well, we only need like nine. No, wait. I'm bad at math. We only need like seven more and we're there. So I, I'm just going to make it early. So today we're doing what if Deku was Wu Kong. Now, if you don't know who Wu Kong is, he is the monkey king. Now, for those of you who don't know, no, he's better, like a lot stronger. You know Goku from Dragon Ball? Yeah, Wu Kong, he was based off of Wu Kong. No, Goku normally has black hair until he goes Super Saiyan. He's the one that uh, can t can have silver hair and become an untouchable for a little bit. Yeah, that guy was based off of him. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, whatever, whatever. No, Goku doesn't have yellow hair normally. That doesn't explain. That's like 90% of the characters in Dragon Ball because 90% of the characters are Saiyans that can go Super Saiyan. Now, anyway, getting into the thing. Also, I wrote a bit of a script for this, so I'm going to use this as like a baseline. It's like three or four pages long, but I am going to be doing uh, commentary occasionally. I'm also going to be doing... Uh, I didn't write many talking scenes or fighting scenes in this. I did write one. Uh, more or less. So, I'm gonna use this as a baseline and just come up with the conversations as I go. I wrote down a few of them, but that's beyond the point. I'm also going to be changing a few things from the script, but, you know. It's a script! I'm getting- I'm starting to write scripts! I'm getting somewhere, finally, at 500 subs. <laughs> what? Hmm? Oh yeah, he punched Super Sonic, sound, Speed of Sound Sonic, I remember. Yeah, 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 Look, I don't care. So, we cut to a five-year-old Izuku at the quirk doctor getting his quirk evaluated. The doc, the doctor comes in and says, well, his quirk, it's like anything I've ever, it isn't like anything I've ever seen before. He told the green, the young green-haired boy's mother. Inko. Inko says, well, what's odd about it? The doctor says, well, if I were to compare it to something, it would be, I don't really know, because it's, it is currently dormant, but if I were to compare it to something, it would be all my level danger. So Izuku says, so that he asks his mom, does that mean I can be a great hero? And his mom is like, if it wakes up, yes. Now we're going to do a time skip. And now a bit of backstory about Midori, about the Midorias, about Midoriya's childhood. It was a lot harder because not only was Bakugo bullying him, but his sister. Now, his sister wasn't doing it to be Bakugo mean. He, she was doing it to try and protect Midoriya, you know, to crush his dreams of being a hero so he wouldn't get hurt. But this is going to end up backfiring in the long run. We all know this. And so was all of Class 1A, except for like two people. Crap, I dropped my pen. Like three, two or three people. One of them being, ooh, you're fine, Tokoyami. Shoji and Kirishima because I like Kirishima. He's nice. He's cool. I don't see him being mean. So yeah, Kirishima. So every time they would bully him, you know, he'd go hang out with Kirishima and Shoji and Tokoyami. I don't care. I don't really care.
Also, you want to know something weird I found? Ooh. I didn't... I see that. Oh, yeah. So... Let go of my leg. Let me go. Let me go. Now, we cut to a few years later. Also, his older sister's quirk is hyper telekinesis. Basically, it's Inko's telekinesis, but hyper advanced. She can move cars and buildings and stuff like that. So Midoriya does train in his spare time. So while he does train, you know, his power slowly awakens. Eventually he will look like the thumbnail. Jesus, my hair is an absolute godforsaken mess. So we cut to one day in the Midoriya household, you know, after dinner. Izuku went up to his room to go grab something to show his parents because he is incredibly intelligent. On his way back down, he hears his mother and father talking to Izumi, which is his sister's name, who is his older sister, if I didn't mention it. So, he hears... Young Izumi, I need... I'm going to give you my quirk. One for all. And then he explains one for all. to Izumi. And then Izumi asks, well, why not give it to Izuku? Which surprises Izuku immensely. And All Might responds with, the useless one cannot make the power stronger. You can. Now, we cut to Izuku standing at the bottom of the staircase, hidden behind a wall. But, you know, the door frame is like right there. As he gets angry and in his mind says, What? He could have given me a quirk? He gets angry and something changes in him. As he walks to the door, ignoring them, yelling his name, in surprise, what surprises them is that he yells back, Shut up! I heard everything! And all I have to say to you is, when my power awakens, I will be better, a better hero than even you. I mean, but not even you. You will ever be. As Izumi thinks, but all the things I have done is to protect you. Have I failed? As, do, as Midoriya runs out. This was two or three years before UA. Now it is the entrance exam. And I spelled exam wrong. Jesus Christ. The script is all over the place. And the... So many spelling mistakes. I can't spell very well. We're just going to jump straight into the practical exam. Now, Midoriya at this point looks like uh, the Sungwoo you saw in the thumbnail, except with green hair. Now So, if you do not know, we see Izuku looking around. No, wait. Blah, blah, blah. So, if you haven't. Yeah. Basically. This next bit is to explain his powers are the following immeasurable strength, speed, durability, endurance, intelligence, magic, immortality of three different kinds. As in, he has learned a breathing technique that allows him to be immortal. He has been banned from the afterlife. And he ate all of the immortal peaches. Basically, he has Sung Wu. Basically, since he is the reincarnation of Sung Wu, all of this happened for him. Now, he has an innate connection to nature. Oh, shape shifting, mastery, and shape shifting, mastery of all martial arts, and telekinesis. I think that about covers it, but tell me in the comments if I am wrong. So when the exam starts, Izuku lets a few people, you know, lets everyone start going, and then he speed blitzes everyone 
while also dropping banana peels. Because Sung Woo is a bit of a prankster. If you ha can't tell, all of the characters that Sung Woo is based, all the characters based off of Sung Woo are ex just are jokesters and don't st that hardly take anything seriously sometimes. This is the last time I'm helping you two up. Y'all fall again. I'm not helping you. Now, and after this, he starts destroying robots. Getting 70 attack points, or villain points, by the time the zero pointer, yeah, right after doing, dropping all the banana peels. When the zero sh pointer showed up, he had already collected almost 150 attack points. That's fine, Dookie. Now, when he saw the big robot, he took out his staff while chuckling, running up and jumping up, raising the staff, making it twice the size of the zero pointer, saving several people, side note, the... Hold on. Oh yeah, the dorms are already made in this because Midoriya has just been, you know, living on his own, you know, on a cloud, because he's Sung Woo. What you gonna, not Sung Woo. Why did I sing Sung Woo? He's Wukong. He's Wukong. What are you gonna do? He's bloody Wukong. He does whatever he wants. You can't stop him. He's a god killer. He's killed multiple gods. Like, legit, in his lore, he's killed hundreds of thousands of gods, I believe. Now we're going to do a time skip to the start of UA. Now, UA is a college in this, just because, you know, it's going to make my life easier. And the people he's... And uh, I have no idea what the ship could be. It could be Nejere, it could be Momo, it could be... I... <laughs> Honestly, I don't know. Could it even be Miss Joke, really? Uh, probably not Miss Joke, though. Anyway, so at the start of UA, we're going, you know, he's going to be the first one in class. He's going to be sitting in his desk, playing around with some weird, you know, he's going to have, uh, he does have his hero notebook. He already has written, you know, he has multiple hero notebooks. But he'd be, you know, he'd make a small yellow cloud and start playing with it. Making it move around while playing with it. So, you know, as class when he gets in, Bakugo and Izumi notice this guy and they're like, No way. Is that... Deku? You know, as Izumi runs over, like, Madu... Izuku, uh, little bro, what are you doing here? You're corkless, how'd you get in? As he says, first off, I don't know you and I don't want to know you. You don't, you, I don't know who you are and you don't know who I am. So you leave me alone, understand? As, you know, he's like, but Izuku, I don't go by that name. I go by what my quirk is. I go by Wukong. But mom and dad, mom, mom and dad have been worried about you. Lies and slander. They never cared about me. None of you have. So you can leave. So you can leave me alone and never speak to me again. That'd be greatly appreciated. Now buzz off. As you know, he jumps, you know, as he gets up and jumps a little bit, creating a cloud under him. You know, leaning back into the cloud while floating around the classroom taking a nap. No one can reach him. You know, anytime someone would try to grab him, uh, a lightning bolt would shoot out of the cloud. Think of this as his own personal version of the Flying Nimbus. But, you know, with lightning. Okay. Now, 
when Ozawa comes in, he sees Midoriya sleeping, you know, floating around the classroom. He's like, so that's the kid with the weird quirk. As he notices <clears throat> his strawberry yogurt, because I'm going to say, you know, that little yogurt packet had strawberry in it. Stra with strawberry yogurt? Cool. Had strawberry yogurt in it was changed to banana yogurt. And he was like, who changed my yogurt? As Midori's like, <laughs> sorry about that. I thought you liked bananas. <laughs> no, he says, I'm sorry. I thought you liked bananas considering you're dating one. <laughs> As he like hides behind his cloud and he's like, get down here now. You know, he activates his quirk, but nothing happens. Oh, by the way, uh, erasure quirks don't work on me. So, yeah, good luck with that. So, you know, as I was like, whatever. Put these on, we're going outside. So Midoriya just changes into his clothes you saw in the thumbnail. As Midoriya goes up first. And he's like, okay, kid, I want you to throw this ball as far as you can. As far as I can? That is a whole... Yes, as far as you can. Okay, then. So he grabs the ball, right? And what he does next surprises everyone. So he winds it back, and when he throws it, he uses the maximum, nearly the maximum amount of strength he has. Now, he has nearly immeasurable strength, but uh, I just kind of put a random number and didn't know what it meant until afterward. He throws it 500 kilometers away. I don't care. Stop. You're going to get me copyright claimed. He throws it 500 kilometers. If you didn't know, the moon is only 300 kilometers away from the Earth. Man throws it past the moon. Probably hits an asteroid or something. Blowing up. So scientists are like, what the heck? So I was like, 500 kilometers? How the heck? Now, everyone was exceptionally shocked. Except for Midori. He was like, <laughs> ball go bye-bye. Midori is easily entertained. He's a monkey man. What you gonna do? Now... Also, Midoriya passed the exam by breaking All Might's record, which I'm gonna say is 200 and, uh, yeah, just 200. Man got a 250 points because of his extra hero points. He got an extra 100. And, uh, yeah, they all live in the dorms now, because, uh, those exist, because, you know, college. Now, when the, you know, Kirishima was like, holy cow, that's manly. No. Stop. You retard. Midoriya is like, yeah. More like monkeyly. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, that's about as far as I can throw it. I could have thrown it farther, but you didn't really tell me to throw it as far as I wanted. You just kind of told me to throw it. So, yeah. Anyway, I'm going to go take a nap. Nimbus! You know, he yells Nimbus, and then he jumps up. As he jumps up, a golden cloud forms underneath him, and he lays on it like... Ah, this is the life. As a banana pops out of the Nimbus. Oh, as Midoriya says, oh, thank you, Nimbus, as he starts eating the banana. So he gets all, you know, he is, gets number one place. The two people that get kicked out, because one person does get kicked out regardless, and I need an extra space for Izumi and the ship, probably. Uh, Mineta and Toru get kicked out. Now, I don't know who the ship should be. Again, you, it can be an OC ship that I can make, or just anything really. I just need you to tell me what you want me to ship. You want me to make the ship, and then I will do that. Why is it all so Anyway, I mean, I can't even make it Saris Victoria. Just give her the quirk vampire and make her like one of the teachers at UA. They're around the same age. She's like 20, he's 18 in this. 
I mean, Sarah's Victoria is freaking awesome. Frag. But, whatever. Anyway, getting into the what if. Getting back to the what if. Yeah. Um, how long is this video? Because if it is under...